Can you tell me a little bit why you're here today? I'm here as an individual. I'm here to find out firsthand what's, what's happening here and why it's happening and to get a sense of, of what people are saying and thinking and feeling. And it's, uh, it's, it's been very interesting. Okay, so what are, are you, the, the impression we get from the newspapers that, is that this is professional protesters that, what, what's, what's your, can you talk to that or? I haven't met any yet. <laughs> I haven't met none. I, I've met a lot of senior citizens. I've met a lot of ladies. I've met a lot of little children and teens. I, the only people I've met are people who are concerned about the environment and concerned with the direction this province has taken with the development of their resources and their lack of uh, of consultation or lack of the government actually listening rather than just paying them lip service and they're very frustrated by that and rightly so. Uh, Sterling, what do you think that uh, the Liberal government will be any better if, if the Liberals were elected in 2014? No. Well, what makes you think that? Why, what, can you tell me what you... Because philosophically there's no longer any difference between the Liberal Party in New Brunswick and the Progressive Conservative Party in New Brunswick. Um, We've had only Liberal and Conservative governments since Confederation in this province and every New Brunswicker can see exactly where we are as a province and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out who got us here. So there's not a one ounce of difference. In, uh, they may protest and say otherwise, but prove it to me, show me. Okay, anything else you'd like to say? Uh, just that I think it's unfortunate that something like this even has to happen, that people have to go to this, these extremes in order to have their voices heard or to try to have their voices heard. Uh, even, even with this, it, they're finding it very difficult to get an accurate, true message out because, quite frankly, it's not in the interest of the mainstream media in this province to tell the truth. Okay. Now, the, I know that the uh, PNB has come out in, uh, against uh, uh, shale gas drilling in the past. Is that still the uh, position? Our position has been consistent since the energy forum that was in uh, 2011. Uh, the party's position is that we should have a moratorium on this until a number of conditions have been met. Uh, to date, none of those conditions have been met by industry and government, and I'll just recap some of the major ones. Uh, we feel that shale gas, if it's going to go ahead, they have to demonstrate that it can be done responsibly from an environmental perspective. We think that there needs to be protection for landowners and that landowners are not put at risk and that the burden of proof, should there be a mishap, should fall on, the, uh, on industry and not on the individual. Uh, we feel that if our economic benefits have to be for all the people in New Brunswick, which would require fair royalties and fair taxation on, on the resource, that's not the case. We've also uh, indicated that if, if uh, a lot of New Brunswickers leave in this province, uh, some of our best people are leaving by the hundreds because there's no economic opportunity here. We do need economic opportunity. We do need development. We do need jobs. But they have to be responsible, and those jobs, wherever possible, New Brunswickers should have an opportunity for those first, assuming they have the skills. Um, a number of people have left New Brunswick and now working in the oil fields and whatever in Alberta. They have acquired the skills to do this industry, should it go ahead. If they want to come home, this is their home, those people should have the first opportunity of those jobs, should it go ahead. But, but the government and the industry have not moved one inch in terms of satisfying what we have set out as minimum conditions. So, so until that changes, our position that there should be a moratorium until such time as it does hasn't changed. Hasn't changed one iota in, in three years. So. Well, thank you very much, uh, Sterling. All right, thank you.